guys welcome back to my channel thank you for returning now for today's video is going to be all about my makeup series and how I use these beauties from the Fenty Beauty collection so I got these two products from the launch collection at the beginning which is the uh, matchstick concealer and the pro filter foundation and then from the galaxy collection I got one of the lipsticks mm. So if you've been watching me for a little while, you know I've been trying to find the right foundation that would suit my skin tone. So I tried the Smashbox foundation, mm, didn't work. The L'Oreal True Mats, <laughs> then I even tried Sleek. As opposed to the BB cream, I tried their CC cream, which is a complexion corrector. No, that didn't work either. So I went back to back and got my NC45. The only thing with this product, the NC45, is I feel that it, even though it's quite a good colour match, it still makes my skin look tanned. And I just want something that is my colour that God gave me. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see how I managed to create this everyday flawless look with the Fenty Beauty, stay tuned. So I'm going to get straight into this, we don't really need to ask, tell you about the packaging which is lovely, um, the bottle which is so beautiful, I'm just going to get straight into this. Now I have got the colour 330, kind of hoping it won't look weird on me, I, I feel that it's too light because it's just my usual one which is the MAC, um, as you can see it's pretty darn light. So anyway, we'll see, hey? Um, yeah, one pump. We all know it's running. Quite nice. Hmm. Saw some reviews about how um, the smells really nice, and it is actually. It's quite fresh smelling. All right, let's go for it. So I'm gonna pat it on one side of my face because I know, and then rub it in because I know from other people they all said that it dries really quickly, and I don't want. I've got a mirror down here, so I need to look in that. really drying quick. It's a bit yellow. <laughs> it looks a little bit yellow. Wow. I think I've got the wrong colour. Anyway, it's supposed to oxidise but I don't think it oxidises. I think it's just like paint. You know you put paint on the wall and then it kind of dries down to its natural colour. I think that's what it probably does. People have been saying that it oxidizes, but I, I just feel that it probably just dries down. Okay, so I haven't really put much on because, as you can see, you can still see, yeah, it's actually, even if it is, hmm, it's a little yellow, eh? You can clearly see brown, yellow. Anyway, let's keep going, shall we? I'm gonna I'm gonna pump another one. I don't know, I'm asking for trouble I think. But I'm only gonna put like half a pump. Because I don't want to look, look like a cake mix. Is that a bit better? Oh my word. <laughs> I look yellow. Do I look like my maybe I look like my chest now, my neck. Because my neck's a little bit yellow anyway. I'm not really sure. Does it look the same? It kind of does, doesn't it? It looks kind of like, I don't know. It looks like I'm dead, my face looks dead. As you can see, when I come out of the lighting, this here looks quite warm, my skin tone, as opposed to my face, it looks like I've just stunk my face in some powder. <laughs> so let's see how the rest of it looks with the makeup, eh? Let's give it a bit of chance here. Let's not shoot it down already. All right, Riri, I give you a chance. Right now, I'm just going to use um, this one is, I've got the French Vanilla, which is this one, let me show you the swatch, see look how white that is, so you can see like I'm, I'm going to look like a weird under my eyes, that's all I can say, like what was I thinking, I don't know, I don't know, what was I thinking, um, my fault, I kind of thought this was the right colour, but anyway, let's go with it and see how it goes, I'm 45 years old at the time of doing this video and i got to say, I do not need any products that's going to pull any part of my skin any more than it's already been pulled. Look at my hooded lids, they're just so saggy. 
I don't need this part pulled so I'm not happy that this is quite you have to really kind of pull your skin let me just zoom in so you know what I mean okay so you see me pulling I don't like that I don't usually wear this much concealer but we're just gonna go with it all right it's a bit bright and we can laugh later on if it's funny, okay? Blend that in. I've heard these actually, these dry quickly apparently, so I'm just gonna keep, keep it moving. Okay. Okay. Slightly bright. Um, it's too white, isn't it? Maybe I'm not, I'm not used to that look. No, that is too bright. Cream contouring is a bit daunting to me. So I often, when I'm just experimenting with makeup, I often buy a very cheap product and just see how I use it, how it looks, just to get used to the idea of contouring before I go and spend some big coin on the good stuff. So I've got this La Roque, um, I got this on Amazon. It's called the Beginner's Collection. These 15 shades, color correctors, and contour and highlighters so we are going to I'm going to use this color here so I'm just gonna take a bit of that color and go mm -hmm. I just want it under there Does it help give my definition So I'm going to be using for blusher my MAC, um, it's called Razin, and I love this colour, it's a really beautiful, rich, peachy pink, deep pink, um, and I'm going to be applying it with this Revlon blusher brush. Can you see that charm? It's not quite the uh, Fenty Beauty one. However, this will do for now. I feel like the lighting is giving it a slightly different look. <laughs> it does look very bright. So uh, my camera died on me because it overheated. So I let it cool down. In the meantime, I um, put some eyeshadow on. Just a very, very faint colour. I did my eyebrows as well. Um, I'll put the details in the description bar for that. I took down the ring light. <laughs> So I think the ring light just threw my sense of judgment out of proportion. I think in this lighting, at the moment I've only got my softbox lighting over here, I don't have one on this side, I have to turn this one off. Uh, and I think it kind of, it's all right. I definitely love the flawless look. Can you see how it's made my face look much smoother? Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I'm going to put on the lipstick and this is part of the Galaxy Collection of Fenty Beauty and this one's called Spacesuit. I really love this colour for an everyday look. It kind of like um, gives that little zhuzh for an everyday look I think. Here I'm going to swatch it for you and just show you what that looks like. Yeah, you can see that now. It's so nice. So let me just line my lips. And it's not really glossy, it doesn't really give that really stickiness, it's quite nice. So, okay, so this is the finished look, um, I think it's dried down much, much more and it's kind of amalgamated into my skin tone. As you can see with the lighting back on, it's really kind of... That's not a bad match, right? That's not bad. So this Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the colour 330 gets a big thumbs up from me. Um, what this one does, this foundation does, what the MAC uh, NC45 doesn't do is it, uh, it gives me a really nice flawless look. I haven't got any primer on and I didn't have to put the powder on before foundation, which is what I normally do. And I haven't given myself a fixing spray um, finish. Another one of my favourite is the Contour Matchstick. 
which I absolutely thought was going to be a really hot, a uh, hot mess on my eyes. The um, French vanilla worked out quite well for me. I thought I was going to have to use my MAC NC45 concealer, but girl, it worked out. It is a little bit white, but in normal daylight, it's mm, it really moulds into skin very well, and I'm so happy about that. Now, another one of my favourites is from the Galaxy Collection, this space suit. Oh my goodness, lip gloss. Love me some lip gloss. Um, love this colour, but I thought I'd take off the lip liner that I had underneath this. Um, just to give a much truer picture of what this really looks like. So, I have taken off as much as I can without burning my lips. Uh, and we're going to go again. Oh, it's so nice. Even with it on its own, it's lovely. Okay. I'm falling in love with this on its own. Oh, this is so nice. Nice, huh? So overall, I'm really, really happy with this Fenty Beauty makeup. Mm, mm. Honestly, at the beginning, when it goes on, it just went way off. It was like completely different, but I don't know if it oxidizes or it just dries to its natural color, but it definitely is a pretty good match. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Guys, I'm going now. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> I like it. Yes, Rihanna. Work, 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 work.